Palmdale Mayor Steve Hoffbauer here with our coronavirus update for the city of Palmdale. And today we're going to have uh, City Manager J.J. Murphy uh, give us some uh, information on some topics of uh, current interest. J.J. Thanks, Mayor. Hi, this is City Manager J.J. Murphy with your COVID-19 update. If you're among those financially impacted by the coronavirus pandemic, you might be concerned about how to pay your mortgage or your rent. Federal and state governments, as well as financial institutions and loan servicers, have announced plans to help struggling homeowners during this time. For many homeowners with mortgages, there's help available, but the experts at the federal government's Consumer Financial Protection Bureau are strongly advising you to first assess your current situation. First of all, if you can pay your mortgage, pay your mortgage. But if you can't pay your mortgage, or you can only pay a portion, the experts say contact your mortgage loan servicer immediately. It may take a while to get a loan servicer on the phone. Loan servicers are experiencing high call volume and may also be impacted by the pandemic. One of the options that has been talked about recently that come available to individuals through the Coronavirus Aid Relief and Economic Security Act, CARES Act, is mortgage forbearance. Forbearance is when your mortgage servicer or lender allows you to pause, suspend, or reduce your mortgage payments for a limited period of time while you regain your financial footing. Forbearance doesn't mean your payments are forgiven or erased. Let me repeat. A forbearance doesn't mean your payments are forgiven or erased. You are still required to repay any missed or reduced payments in the future. To explain more of the details and risk involved, please check out this informational video from the Consumer Finance Protection Bureau. If you are experiencing difficulty making on-time mortgage payments due to the national coronavirus emergency, forbearance may be an option for you. Forbearance can help consumers get back on their feet during short-term financial difficulty. But there are a few things you need to know and some important decisions you'll need to make. Forbearance is when your mortgage servicer, that's the company that sends your mortgage statement and manages your loan, or lender, allows you to pause or reduce your payments for a limited period of time. Forbearance does not erase what you owe. You will have to repay any missed or reduced payments in the future. So if you are able to keep up with your payments, keep making them. The types of forbearance available vary by loan type. If your mortgage is backed by the federal government, this includes FHA, VA, USDA, Fannie Mae, and Freddie Mac loans, provisions of the recently enacted CARES Act allow you to temporarily suspend payments if you are experiencing financial difficulty due to the impact of the coronavirus on your finances. Loan servicers may also have forbearance or deferment options for non-government backed or private loans, but the exact options available to you may differ. Here's how this works for federally backed mortgages under the CARES Act. If you are experiencing financial hardship due to the coronavirus pandemic, you have a right to request forbearance for up to 180 days. You also have the right to request an extension for up to an additional 180 days. But you must contact your loan servicer to request this forbearance. There won't be any additional fees, penalties, or interest added to your account, but your regular interest will still accrue. Other than telling your servicer that you have a pandemic-related financial hardship, you won't need to submit additional documentation to qualify for this forbearance. It's important to find out what options are available to you. The best place to find that information is from your loan servicer. Look for their contact info on your monthly mortgage statement. Right now, most financial institutions, including mortgage servicers, are experiencing high call volumes, so there may be long wait times to talk to someone on the phone. Regardless of the type of mortgage you have or how you communicate with your servicer, here are some things to consider. If you cannot make your mortgage payments and you are looking to suspend or reduce your payments, you will need to work with your servicer. If you decide to move forward with a forbearance plan, ask your servicer how you will be required to pay back the amount owed after the forbearance period. Will you owe the entire unpaid amount in a lump sum once the pause period has ended or at the end of the loan term? Can the loan term be extended so that missed payments are added to the end of your mortgage? 
will your subsequent monthly payments be higher for a period of time to make up the deferred amount? Finally, be on the lookout for scams and scammers looking to take advantage of consumers affected by coronavirus. You might receive fraudulent calls, emails, text messages, or other offers to help you reduce or stop your mortgage payments. Make sure you are working directly with your mortgage servicer. For more in-depth information, including information on how to find a HUD-approved housing counselor, go to consumerfinance.gov slash coronavirus. So while forbearance may be an option for you during this crisis, remember, it does not mean your mortgage payments are forgiven or go away. In this case, there's no free lunch. A great resource that is available to residents to help with the forbearance issue and other pressing things such as foreclosures is the Los Angeles County Disaster Help Center hotline website. They're under the Consumer and Business Affairs Department and they can answer your questions and talk options that are available to you. You can reach them at 833-238-4450. They can even help you if you're a landlord and if you're experiencing financial hardship because your tenant is not able to pay rent. For those matters, you can either call or email rent at dcba.lacounty.gov. For more information on these services, please visit the website listed on your screen. Until the next time, please remember to stay safe, keep wearing your face coverings, maintain social distancing, wash your hands, stay home if you're sick, and remember, Palmdale cares about you.